Yeah, hello. This is a follow-up video on a, a YouTube video I did on calculating uh, Farkle probabilities. It's a dice rolling game that I've just recently discovered, maybe two, three weeks ago. And, you know, you can roll from one to six die and anything in between, and you score certain points for different combinations, like three of a kind, four of a kind, five of a kind, six of a kind, you know, a straight, two triples, three pairs, etc. Um, we'll go over each of those in this video. But what I did is I calculated the probabilities by hand using combinatorics. And actually, it's a it's a nice video to watch if you're interested. But then I double-checked them in R. And then I thought that the way I did this was pretty creative, at least for me. And I thought I'd share it. And so what we're going to do is go through each of these die probabilities. And so on using one die, you can score with a 1 or a 5. And if you don't score, it's called a Farkle. And so what I do is I, uh, I create a variable x that's from 1 to 6. And that simulates a die roll. And then I use the expand grid function, which then expands all the different combinations. But I only use one X, so it's a, it'll be a matrix from uh, six rows and one column. And so, actually, let's look at F for in this case. So you can see that it's just you know six by one. And then I throw in conditions that if the first column is a one, then it's a one only. If the if it's a five, it's a five only. If it's else, it's a Farkle. So, and I use if else statements to do that. And so, uh, when I run this and then I print it out, the number of combinations for a one is one. The number of combinations for five is one. And there's uh, four ways to Farkle. So, if we were to calculate a probability, we'd have to sum up these these uh, combinations. You know, there'd be six of them, and then divide each of these by six, and then that would be the respective probabilities. So now let's do it for two die and calculate the probabilities. So here again I let x uh, be a variable from 1 to 6 that simulates a roll in a die. And I use the expand grid function with two different die in it. And so it's going to create a 36 by 2 uh, matrix that I can deal with. And let's just print it for this case and this will be the last time. And so you can kind of see it goes off the screen, but for it lists all possibilities of these two combinations. And I use the same one through six in each. You don't have to. But and so then I started going through this and calculating probabilities of one only, a one and a one only, a, a one and a five, a five only, a five and a five. And and it was pretty easy for two, but then when I got to more than two die, it actually became pretty tedious to program all the ifs, you know, if this, that, it, you know, and and I, there's got to be an easier way. So then I thought, you know, if they were sorted, each row was sorted, you know, from smallest to largest, it would make these calculations much easier. And so that's what I did. And actually this step right here, um, the sort is what I think is pretty creative. So then I sort it. And so it sorts it by row. And so, for instance, this row 30, you can see that it's a 6 and a 5. But if I were to reprint the matrix, row 30 is now a 5 and a 6. And it's going to make these calculating these probabilities so much easier because you can always, you know, if there's a 1 in the l l first column, then you know there's a 1. If there's not a 1, then you didn't roll a 1. And so, and so now as we go through these two die probabilities, you know, if it's a 1 only, it means that there's a 1 in the first column and there's not a 1 or a 5 in the second column because you, you, it's an automatic score if you roll a 1 or a 5. And a 1 one only, and this is kind of creative, that if there's a 1 in the second column, then it's a 1, you've rolled a 1 and a 1. And because they're sorted, 
you know, if you go left, so the first column has to be a 1 if the second column's a 1. So that's where I make use of the sort. So a 1, 5, and here's a, a 5 only. So it's a 5 in the first column, or a 6 in the second column, or less than a 5 in the first column, and a 5 in the second column. Here's a 5 and a 5. So we can calculate these probabilities. Okay, and so here are the number of ways to score. And here's the number of ways to farkle, which means to not score. Now, for for three die, um, we we also have the probability of rolling three of a kind. And notice the expand grid now has three X's, which represents the three die. So there's six to the third possible ways that this expand grid is going to uh, sort it, near to expand it, and then I use the sort function, the apply and the sort to sort each row, and then it makes these probability calculations so much easier. So here, the first one, if there's three of a kind, it means the first column and the third column equal, and then if the first and the third are equal, the second has to equal because they're in sort order. A one only is this case, so it's a one in the first one and not in the second one. Oh, a one only means not a one only and not a five. So you have to program each the second, third column to be not a five or a one. And um, then a one, one only and a, uh, let's see what else we got. A one, five, five only, a one, one, five, a five only. 5.5 five and a farkle and then let's calculate these probabilities and so here's the number of possible ways out of the 6 to the third power of all these possible outcomes and I'm gonna put this uh, program in the comment section so if you want to grab it and and use it to code these probabilities or improve it somehow I'm okay with that um, but really this is to be a complement to that first video where I uh, prove these uh, theoretically and so for four die you know I have the four X's in the expand grid which represents rolling four die I sort them and then I go through each of the possibilities four of a kind three of a kind a one only a one and a one one five 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 and a farkle and so we calculate it and then these are the number of ways of rolling of scoring rolls in the game of Farkle when you have four die. And so the uh, there's only six ways to, to roll a four of a kind, 120 rolls ways to roll three of a kind. So then to calculate the probabilities you need to take you know like 120 over uh, six to the fourth which is the total number of outcomes. Now for five dice probabilities you can see that the first three commands are essentially the same, but I have five X's to represent the five die. And then I go through each of the possible ways to score. A five of a kind, a four, a three, one only, a one and a one, a one and a five, one five five, one one five, one five five, five only, a farkle. And then it runs. And here are the number of ways each of those outcomes can happen. And then I'll do it for the for six die, and you can see that that command took a little bit longer because it's uh, six to the sixth, and so that's you know there's a lot of columns and, and rows in that. Now to calculate the probabilities of each of these outcomes, it's five, a six, a four two triples, four to two combination, three pairs, there's a straight, um, three of a kind, a one only, one and a five only, one one, five five, and let's calculate it. And so really instead of going through this, you know, I just, I'll list the program so if any of you want to uh, delve into it you can um, these are these are in like order of the title um, you know so so hope you enjoyed it that's all I got for today uh, if you 
liked it, please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.